This summer, Greece was on fire. The fire on the island of Avia was the biggest in Greece since records began. It was a mega fire, an intense blaze which burnt out of control for days. In some places, only the sea could stop it. Many people were forced to flee their homes. Wildfires in the Mediterranean are common, but firefighters say this year's megafires were unprecedented. Lieutenant Colonel Stratos Anastasopoulos, who's responsible for coordinating firefighting aircraft across Greece, took us up to see the extent of the destruction. What made it so intense this year? It was a very, very dry, the brushes and the grass and the trees. Is this climate change? Yes. Yes. The heat wave? Yeah. It was very difficult for us. The first time that I came here in Nevria, I cried because there is all over fires. All over. Here, there, 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 up there, in the other mountain, in the other mountain. Oh my God. The raging flames destroyed huge swathes of forest, a third of the island's territory. With the forest burnt, there's a real danger of erosion and flooding when the winter rains come. These men are using the dead wood to make makeshift terraces to try to stop that happening. The effects of these fires will be felt here for years to come. Elias Siritis, who works for the World Wildlife Fund, says megafires will happen again and again unless there's more focus on prevention. If you ask our colleagues in Spain, Portugal, Italy or Turkey, they're going to explain to you that the new trend in uh, forest fires is megafires, the megafires that are uh, affected by climate change. These forests should eventually regenerate, but it'll take years for the trees to grow back. And with more heat waves forecast, their fears megafires in the Mediterranean could become the new normal. Bethany Bell, BBC News, Greece.